Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Chibitronics. Today we're continuing our video series, Chibitronics for Paper Crafters, and I'll be teaching you how to create a sequence sliding switch so that you can light up your fireflies in different orders with the touch of a finger. We will use the same firefly card design with different circuits so that you can see how to create totally different interactions with the same design. So let's get started. If you missed the intro video in this series, you can find the link above or in the YouTube description below. To start, I used the template I created in the first video to trace the holes of my card panel onto an A2 panel of white cardstock. Then I center the craft stencil over each trace dot and trace the outline of the sticker. This time I make sure the positive line of my stencil is on top and the negative point of my stencil is on the bottom for all three outlines. I label my stencil outlines as a reminder that the positive is on top and the negative is on the bottom. Next I use a scoring board and score the bottom of the panel at one inch. I fold the cardstock along the score line and use my bone folder to get a really good crease. Then I draw a vertical line from the negative point of my stencil outline to the score line for each outline. I draw a circle for my battery on the top left and then draw a line from the battery down the panel crossing the score line. I make a 90 degree turn about halfway down the bottom portion and run that horizontal line along the bottom of the card. Then I draw vertical lines running from the positive side of the stencil outline to the top of the card panel. I draw a horizontal line connecting the top of those vertical lines and then connect it to my battery circle. Those top lines are the positive lines of my circuit and the bottom lines are the negative lines of my circuit. As you can see right now, the vertical lines coming from the negative point of the stencil outline are not connected to the battery. Now it's time to add conductive fabric tape to create our circuits. I start by adding vertical lines leading from the negative point of the stencil outline to the score line on the card panel, and vertical lines leading from the positive side of the stencil outline to the top of the card panel. Once I've added all those lines, I add a piece of tape along the top of the card panel that touches each of the vertical lines leading from the positive side of the stencil outline and connects around to the battery outline. I leave a little of the backing paper attached to the tape here as it will be adhered to the top of the battery. Then I add a piece of tape along the bottom of the card panel following the line I traced. That piece of tape makes a 90 degree turn and connects to the battery outline. This piece of tape will touch the bottom of the battery so I let it cross the battery outline into the middle of the trace circle and then trim off the excess. Next, I place all of my LED stickers on my panel following the outline I traced with the stencil. I make sure the negative point of each sticker points down towards the score line. For added security, I reinforce the LED stickers by adding conductive fabric patches over the top and bottom of each sticker, making sure to not let those patches touch or cross my vertical lines of conductive fabric tape. As a quick refresher, here is how our completed circuits work. A piece of conductive fabric tape runs under the negative side of the battery and crosses the negative point of the LED sticker. Then a second piece of tape crosses over the positive side of the top of the battery and crosses the positive side of the LED sticker. This completes our circuit and the LED sticker lights up. On our sequence sliding switch panel, I add the battery to the panel and adhere my top piece of tape over the positive top of the battery. But because the negative vertical lines running from the negative point of the LED stickers don't touch the line of tape running from the underside of the battery, the circuit is not complete, so the LED stickers don't light up. To complete the circuit, all we need to do is fold the card panel along the score line. When the piece of tape on the bottom of the card panel touches those negative vertical lines of tape, it completes the circuit and lights up the LED stickers. Now the fun part of this switch is that the LED stickers will only light up when you press the scored part of the panel to the tape to complete the circuit. As I've shown before, I add my Firefly panel using magnets because this is a template I'll be using over and over again for this series. If you were adhering this to a card base, you'd adhere the circuit panel to your card base 
but do not apply any adhesive to the bottom scored part. That would be folded, and then you'd adhere the Firefly panel on top with a thin layer of foam mounting tape. Again, you would not apply any adhesive to the scored part so that it can be pressed down and released to complete the circuit as desired. And here's another look at the card with my desk light off. You can see how the Fireflies come alive with the movement of your fingers. It really makes for a fun, dynamic, and exciting card design. If you slide your finger along the scored part, the lights will light up in order as your finger crosses over the vertical tape lines. If you press your finger to different parts of the circuit, you can light up any or all three of the lights in any order at any time. This makes an interactive card even a little more interactive and exciting, as you can make all sorts of different light up patterns and sequences with a simple press or slide of your finger. Finally, here's another look at that circuit. You can clearly see how the positive side of the tape is connected to the battery and the positive sides of each LED sticker, and how the negative point of each LED sticker is not connected to the battery. But once we fold the panel along the scored edge and press down, you'll complete the circuit and see all those LED stickers light up. This is also a circuit template that does not require a battery holder. The battery is not being drained unless the scored part is being pressed to complete the circuit. This allows for even more time to enjoy the fun card design before the battery dies. And here's one more example of the sequence sliding switch. This follows the same structure but uses more lights in a variety of colors. It looks intimidating, but once you know how to create those circuits, it's just a matter of taking some time to apply your tape. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video in the Chibitronics for Paper Crafter series and stay tuned for a new video next month. Be sure to subscribe to the Chibitronics YouTube channel and follow us on social media for lots of crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, have an amazing day, and happy crafting. Bye!